Hi, Scott from Digital Fish on a trip to the back of the Mokohinaos in search of hapuka and marlin with Akuma Fishing Tackle and the boys from Fish City. Sandspit charters were looking after us today and Skipper Nick Dobbin had some secret puka spots up his sleeve for us to fish. Once past the mokes we were going to pull some Parkula magic plastic for a marlin before dropping some baits down deep. Nick had been encountering marlin on most trips and mentioned a blue might be on the cards if the water temp was a good indicator. A couple of patches of birds didn't hold anything with a stick on its face for us, so as we neared our destination we tooled up on our bait gear. It was baits away and Brendan James loaded his rod with a diamond big eye lure laced with skipjack appetizers, which scored him the first fish of the trip, a fat little hapoka pup. Almost as pretty as Brendan, it was quickly put on ice. Nick Hurran had a good bend in his rod and landed a solid terakihi, surprisingly big for the species. Bevan McQuand was next to start grunting and grinding his gear back to the top and Chris Pom likewise started retrieving but we suspected cross lines looking at the angle of the braid in the water. Sure enough twin kings had been spinning on the way up and fouled the lines. I was jigging down deep. You have to be patient on the way down and on the way up with these kinds of depths. Brendan was on yet again and after a quick shuffle around Chris's line a gem of a gem fish could be seen spiralling to the surface. These guys have nasty looking teeth but are tasty hot out of the smoker. All morning we dropped, drifted and scored all kinds of tasty deep water fish. Nick scored a solid pooker and was leading the scoreboard but he wasn't going to be in first place by the end of the day. It was trolling time again as we headed to another spot. We hadn't seen any sign of marlin yet but were enjoying a feast of fish so far. I swapped the jig rod for a game rod and let down some tasty tuna bites. The birds were watching and waiting as the bites started to come on. This felt better. Hopefully it wasn't a dogfish. Instead I had my first bass. Similar to the hapuka in ecology Bass also have white solid texture and plenty of flavour on the plate. I had some curry plans for this nice little specimen, about 10 kilos in weight. Brendan suddenly had everyone's attention because man, something big was putting a deep bend in his rod. Fast forward 15 minutes and there it was, maybe 30 kilos of bad as bass on the deck courtesy of the diamond eye jig and tuna chaser. Time for a group photo and a review of our fishing plan. More trolling for Marlin, but before the engines fired, Alistair Arkell from Okuma, New Zealand had dropped the line and a monster had latched on. Looking just as big as Brendan's bass, this time a hapoka was coming aboard. Nick pointed the boat back to the mokes. We saw a free jumper and a sunfish, but nothing appeared in our wake. Almost time to cruise home, we took the drone for a fly first. A magical day at the Mokes, we had an easy run home. This is Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches.